So after James Robinson conned me on his channel, we are using this 80 pence ball to see how it competes against the best balls on the market. Extreme value, that isn't it? Fantastic value. One of the best balls I think we've probably ever tested. For value, definitely. I, don't, I mean, performance wise, we've just had this discussion. How good do you have to be to warrant spending £4.50 on a golf ball? Yeah, exactly. Are you going to benefit from it or having this? Is this going to get you similar scores, the same scores, if not better scores? I've got a list on screen that you can see now with the distance of the best performing golf ball. So which golf ball is going the furthest? And you can see at the top, it is a tight list golf ball. It is a left dash, but there's some interesting ones on that list. And in this video, we're going to have a longest drive. I'm going to show you how far this ball goes and how it competes on the list. That is yours, James, because I've you. already got mine down. So we're going to go nearest the pin first. We're going to go nearest the pin. We're then going to have a James Robinson special. Bunker. A bunker shot. And then we're going to have the longest drive here before we get to those numbers where we compare them to the list. So, very interestingly, I don't think I'll be winning nearest the pin. A little cutty, that one. Try to take a little bit too much off. But an interesting golf ball here, guys. So if you're looking for a golf ball, it is one that you can do a lot with. So it is versatile. You can flight it down. We've seen that with irons, with a driver, but also with wedges. A lot of time wedges really struggle, but James got it to have a little bit of backspin. flight there six iron yeah just a nice little cutty one should be middle of the green which is that's going to be a one up chris isn't doing very well at the moment on these challenges on his channel no but i have been practicing my bunkers so let's get there now also shout out to the real vip charlie for stopping there because otherwise we'd have to redo that cheers charlie so guys while chris retrieves his ball from uh, i think it's in like dewsbury or somewhere nice bit of stopping power here so we are downwind it was a nice little six iron it's pretty much stopped dead hasn't it it's obviously come up and gone back a bit they've moved the hole unfortunately because that would have that would have been lovely first one of the year but let's jump in the bunker and see exactly who can win i think it might be another white wash like the last one but don't tell anyone all right play it as it lies so this is interesting because it's a cheap golf ball obviously as we know everyone thinks it should spin don't they i think With they the do. premium ball they think short game i should be able to i'm a golfer i should be able to get spin realistically here we're not going to generate much pros don't always generate much out of here we need landing angle, and this golf ball should give us landing angle. So it's a lot about. Can we talk about the here. flag position before we? It's a bit short sided. It's not a flag. So a lot of golfers here might think, oh, I'm going to try and land this just on the fringe, maybe just on the green and release out. Absolutely not. Land it near the flag there. If you go 10 feet past, you've, you're going to have probably a decent chance at par rather than potentially duffing it into the face or yes. not even getting it out. Trying Don't try and be too cute. Trying to get it land on the top, trickle over that first ridge down. It's not going to happen. So let's just get onto the green here. That's all I'm going to try and do to beat James. Ooh, oh, he's gone for the little... <laughs> tell you what, the shot I said I wasn't going to go for, it did come out like that, but... Oh, it's a favourable lie. Very friendly. That's not the kind of roll I got. <laughs> So guys, don't think that a golf ball around the green is instantly going to get you closer. You still have to have a technique. Oh, oh, James right there. Plenty of loft on it. Felt good out of the bunker, James? It felt fantastic. I think I'd be interested to see if that ball scuffed up at all with the price of it. Like if a ball doesn't scuff up from a wet sander bunker shot, you know it's got a decent core on it and a decent cover on it even. Yeah. I'll get that, Chris. Yeah, don't worry, that's 2-0, nil, mate. Um, what's happened to my bunker play? It's unbelievable. It's just down to longest drive for me, so hopefully I can get it out there as far as the tour pros compare it to the tightest left dash. I think I have some of those golf balls somewhere, so we will try and compare that. But yes, we want distance. We don't want to be losing distance for any reason. Just buying a ball that loses you 20 yards is probably not going to be beneficial. This is competing. Let's have a look at the durability because that's really. Can we talk about this technique as well? Here? I've absolutely nailed that. Look at that. So straight away. No scuff marks on mine as yeah, of yet. Yeah, what do you think of grooves? Well, that's true. We didn't really eat much of the face, but it's always got a bit of some. A bit. There. So not bad. Are we sure with the premium ball with the European really not cover, bad at all, is it? That would have probably done a lot worse. So durability, big tick. Now let's get to what everyone wants to see. How far can we hit these golf balls? And then kind of beat James on the last. So we're in the simulator with it now. So what we should expect to see from this golf ball is 
I don't think it maybe is going to go as far. Again, it's going to launch a little bit higher, but depending on what kind of shots you're wanting to see, that could be the perfect ball for you. So I'm going to come in first, hit a couple with the uh, Wilson. Bit out of balance. But again, down the middle, carrying. Carrying 2.63, going 2.82. So I would say with that kind of golf ball, that's more than good enough. With a normal Pro V1, I'm probably, again, depending on strike, I'll be getting it out there to nearly 300 yards, which that wasn't perfect, wasn't in balance, and you see that it still got out there 2.85. So again, that's probably what I would have expected from a Pro V1. So... Probably one of my uh, usual wild shots, but again, carry wise, 256. So carried where I'd probably think that's ran out to a total of again 278. So very consistent there with how that's gone. So more me leaving the club face open. Let's hit a Pro V1 now and let's see. Obviously, I've got a left dash golf ball. Let's see how that compares to similar shots. Okay, so in with the Pro V1 now. The left dash, let's see that much difference. So, similar to the second one, so two similar shots there, a little bit higher, but again, carrying out there at 250 yards, so exactly the same as with the Wilson. So, a bad one's going to go the same distance, so let's see if I can get a good one now. Bad shot. Again, 260 carry going out there to 280. Both of those weren't great strikes. But this is where we say, obviously, if I gave you blind ball testing, if somebody gave me blind ball testing and I hit some shots, especially with this Wilson, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference because it's not like your normal cheap golf ball that sounds extremely firm and doesn't feel great off the face. But let's get back out on the golf course now, but interesting numbers there, and I honestly think that you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. This is the time, this is the whitewash again. I think since we've changed the format of talking balls on your channel, I don't think you've won anything yet, have you? No, I did, I won the longest drive. It was in the rough, but I mean, it was, it was those So we're saying rules. you don't have to be on the fairway again here? Nope, it's straight it's line, long. what's the furthest? Right. So we have to take it over the trees here, so... Uh, <laughs> here we go. And we've got the same number, so I'm just going to go that if I strike this well, it's further than James. Now this, a big slinging hook. And I heard nothing, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Right, come on. Well, we're definitely not going to get those mixed up. Is that uh, That's up the left side? That a fair way finder for the Yeah, I think drive. it was, yeah. No, I think we'll get up there, but I think I might have at least got one victory. So let's go and see. I mean, neither of us are on the fairway. I'm in the left rough and... Chris it's just it's on the straight line, that's all we have to say. But guys, that's a golf ball. If you're a mid handicap golfer, if you're not too worried about how much you want to spend on golf balls, nice and cheap there, performs ridiculously well for its price, very durable, and it'll be a ball that mid handicap Dave will be loving. Very interesting, because most, well, everybody needs to buy golf balls at some point, and everyone loses golf balls at some point, literally everyone. Depending on how many you lose, I think it could be a great insight into potentially what ball you should be buying. Take it from there. Yeah, and we'll test it out with the everyday golfer in weeks to come. See you then.